Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Taking the Bathroom. The bathroom is on the place where you can place your gadgets in peace. On this channel, we do product reviews and also some tutorials. If you want to support the channel, guys, you can go ahead and check out my ebook, bang, www.themanthosethemselfonfire.com. Or you can just go ahead right there to Amazon and look for The Man Who Set Himself on Fire by Donald Bogan. That's B O G E N. All right, we have a good one for you today. And today I want to talk about this mesh force system right here, guys. Now, this is basically a arm system for your internet and a lot of times we have dead spots in our homes and i got this just for my bathroom that's right right up in here guys this is a dead zone i spend so much time up in here but i always have to use my cellular data whenever i'm in this bathroom because my wi-fi just don't reach back here now my home is 2300 square foot therefore i have a dead spot because i have an add-on and it's hard for wi-fi signals to go through brick walls I'm doing a lot of talking. Enough of that. Let's get into the workbench. Let's see exactly how it works. I'm going to go ahead and check out the Mess Force 3 and the M3 dots. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get into the workbench and let's unbox it. Be right back. All right, so here we have the Mess Force. Now, typically, guys, I'm always looking for, you know, first impressions. What type of illustrations they have on the box. Do they have any instructions on the box? This particular Mess system supposed to take up to a gig of... um of data so if you bind like, up to a gigabyte of data from your isp provider then this definitely can help you so let's go ahead and get our little tomahawk to unbox it open it up the main reason i got this is i already have um two routers in my house already guys just for different things that i do with youtube my ip cameras and stuff like that but i definitely have a dead zone so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to connect this to my Nighthawk, my um, Netgear Nighthawk, and I'm going to see if I can fix that dead zone in my bathroom, okay? So go ahead and open it up, and let's see what we have inside. All right, so the first thing I noticed is this registration card right here. You want to make sure that you uh, pay attention to this information. You want to go ahead and register your device and also show you where you can download the app right here if you need help. They have the um, information right there where you can get in contact with them. Also, you're going to get your user manual. User manual is going to show you right off the back how you can use the QR code to get the app or send you to the Play Store or the Apple um, Store or whatever you Apple guys have. <laughs> so that's pretty much it, guys. So let's go ahead and see. Now, this is one of the extenders or as they call it, a dot. It's, I mean, it's nothing to write home about. One of the things I like about it is that it have a little indicator in the front. And, you know, it have a plug built into it. So you don't have to worry about another external wire you're getting in the way. You can plug it directly into the wall. That's very, very good. That's important for me. And when you turn it at the bottom, you have a Ethernet port and you have a reset port right there. Now, I love the little Ethernet port because... You can discontinue Wi-Fi and be plugged in directly. They also is going to give you an Ethernet card in the wire. Of course, you're going to get another dot. This is a um, system of three. You have your main and you have your two extenders. And it's built the same way with the reset and the Ethernet. Again, I like plugging directly into it. Take Wi-Fi out of the equation whenever possible. This is your little power cord for the main unit. Go ahead and get that out here got all the plastic off of it so let's go ahead and check it out now one of the things that surprised me is how light it is you know it's very very light i thought it have more weight to it so it's not the most premium build but it's i mean it looked pretty good you can mount it on the wall if you like the bottom you see you have a spot for your wang and your lane your ethernet connections also you have a reset and of course you have a spot for your power and you can see that the symbols clearly label what's what so i have mines connected to my netgear nighthawk this is not recommended i recommend you plug it directly into your modem but i'm just trying to get some type of signal into my blind spot all right so the first thing you want to do you want to go ahead and download the app uh, from the Apple Store or from the Google Play Store. Now, once you download the app, you want to go and you want to choose My Mesh. Now, your password is at the bottom of the main device, okay? 
So you go ahead and you put that password in there, you connect, and you follow the prompt. So you want to go to your setup, you hit setup. It's going to identify your connection. I'm um, going to tell you what type of IP you have. You have a stagnant or dynamic IP address. And now you want to change your Wi-Fi and your password right here. After you do that, you want to go ahead and you want to continue the setup. Guys, when I tell you that this is easy, it's so plug and play, it's exactly what I mean. I'm getting the internet system. I'm piggybacking off of my Nighthawk router. It's going directly into the mesh force. And now I can go ahead and I can put the dots or the extenders, right? And whatever rooms that I want it in. Now, they recommend that you put them at least two rooms apart from each other. That way, it can reassure that you are getting stable connection. Now, you want to go ahead and register. So, you want to go ahead, register. You give your email address. And then you create a password. And they're going to send you a confirmation email address. Now, after you get to that point, you want to go ahead and you want to reconnect to my mesh because remember, you just changed the password and the username. And then you want to go ahead and plug in your dot and you're going to see how easy it is right there. So let me go ahead. I rename mine's whole house. So let me restart my Wi Fi. Let it go ahead and go back into the scan mode. And then we're going to select my new name which is whole house and there you have it it's just that simple guys just that simple so let's go ahead and run some speed tests so i want to go ahead and select my main um router which is spectrum do the 5g and i pay for 400 down and 20 up now lately it's been tripping since the pandemic a lot of people been home and so ah uh, I should be getting more than this, but like I said, lately it's been tripping. I'm only a room removed from the main modem. It's usually I get about 349, but I'm getting 279, and I'm look like I'm going to hit my 20 up. So yeah, maybe I have to reset everything or whatever, but it depends on the time of day. Right now it's 10:57 a.m., so it, it it shouldn't have any problems. So let's go ahead and connect the Netgear and let's do the five gigahertz. Now, I have two 5 gigahertz on the Netgear. I have one and two. Go ahead and select the second one. And let's see exactly what we're getting. So, what I have here is the Netgear router plug directly into the modem from Spectrum. And I'm getting about 200 or so. Not that far off from where the main router modem was um, issuing off. And let's see if I can hit that 20 upload about probably going to be about 15 17 let's see so yeah we're right at the 18 so yeah comparable now let's go ahead and check out our newly installed whole house which is the my mesh uh mesh force and let's see what type of speeds we're getting now again i want to be clear I'm getting an internet si signal from my Nighthawk, my Netgear Nighthawk router. Now, if I would to, if I would have gotten it directly from the modem, this speed should be higher. But the signal is going to be degraded because, again, it's traveling through the modem. It's going through Spectrum router. Then it's going through my, my Netgear router into the mesh system. Now, it's saying 100 down. I don't believe that. I'm going to go ahead and run this test again. Um, it should be more than that. Even though the signal is degraded, it still should be more than that, guys. So let's try that one more time. Okay, now this is the mesh system, whole house. All right, I see the speed's going a little faster. Okay, so we had 120, 125. All right, and it's key going higher and higher and higher. So about 145. Let's see what our upload speed is going to be. Okay, look like it's trying to hit that 20 upload. All right, it's dropping a little bit on us. So we're probably going to be around the 16, 15 mark. Let's see where we in. All right, so 18. So that that's that's very, very normal. All right, so now I'm in the back bathroom, which is the dead zone. Now, 
The only router that reached back there is the Netgear, the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum of my Netgear. And really, that's right outside the bathroom window. I have a repeater that's repeating that 2.4. Now, usually whenever I'm in the bathroom, guys, I got to use my cellular data because it's always in the single digits whenever I connect to that, that 2.4 gigahertz net gear, okay? And this is actually the time of day that, trust me, that 9 is spectacular <laughs> compared to what I usually get. So I got like 9 down and it looks like I'm going to get about 5 or something up. So yeah, 509. Now, let's go ahead and switch to the whole house. All right, it's connecting. And let's see if I can get some good speeds back here. Now, before I do that, I wanted to show you something else is that you actually can go ahead and see which dot or extender you are connected to. And you can click on it and it'll show you the signal also. I thought that was a nice feature in the app. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the speed test. Now, nine um, down and five up is what we had with the repeater that's repeating my 2.4 gigahertz for my Netgear. And right off the bat, guys, already more than that, you know. So we had, what, 14, 13. Let's see where we're going to stop. And our upload is about 10. Now, look, it's not crazy speeds, but compared to what I usually have, like three, <laughs> this is absolutely amazing right here now i did a few speed tests after this and i was consistently hitting around 20 which is absolutely perfect for me especially when i'm trying to watch my iptv speaking of that let's see if i can watch iptv without any buffering all right go ahead and connect back to whole house let's choose uh my favorite iptv which is connected Wait for it to load up. All right, everything is loaded. Open it up. Let me choose um, MSNBC. See if it's going to play. All right. Let's give it a couple of seconds and see if it buffer. Now, if I had this on that repeater, guys, it's buffer city. <laughs> you know, let's go ahead and see if we can change the channel. So far, so good. All right. And this is basically what I'm looking for when I'm in the bathroom. Well, I don't have to be on my cellular data just you know using my data on my cell phone i'm actually now have an opportunity to take advantage of my wi-fi and it's filling that dead zone now there's some other things i probably could do to get the speeds up like it's sample connected directly to the modem but like i said i have other things going on ip cameras different setups just for my youtube studio this is doing the job for me guys something else i want to show you now, if you go into the app, the app do allow you to make certain tweaks so you can get the best out of your mesh system. Now, anything from parental control, the amount of t time you want your kids to stay online, to adding a guest network, go ahead, go on your app, take advantage of it. It's not an extensive app like certain systems, but it's definitely get the job done. All right, let's go back to the bathroom. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you was able to see that I didn't, I did not connect it directly into my modem. I pick it back off the signal from my Nighthawk. Now you're saying that degraded the amount of data that was going through there, right? Because it's just one more loop that the signal had to jump through. But remember, I wanted this mesh system just to get some type of internet back here in my back bathroom. Now, if I wanted to configure it directly to my modem, of course, my speeds would be higher, okay? But I want to get something over single digits in my bathroom. And you're seeing it, guys. The setup was easy. You know, it's basically plug and play once you have the app. And you want to go in there, you want to tweak your guest settings or your parental settings for your kids, you can do that. It's not an overly extensive app, such as the Netgear that I have, the Netgear Nighthawk that I have. But it definitely get the job done, guys. I'm pleased with it for what I wanted it to do. I wanted to get internet back here, and I got internet back here. And I wanted to also have a backup for my son in his room because sometimes for whatever reason the internet it drops out sometimes he have good signal sometimes he have bad signal it drops out and another thing that i like about the little dots the rd extenders is that you can plug it up directly ethernet right so i can take an ethernet and plug into that dot and plug it directly up to his xbox and that way 
he can be secure in knowing that, hey, his game is not going to shut down on the why he's playing just in case for whatever reason in that room, that signal drops out again. Absolutely still. These other systems like this, guys, if you're looking for mesh systems, they'd be anywhere from 300 to 500 on up, guys. For this price, $170, I think it is. Can't beat that. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Until next time, peace. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification button so you can be up to date with all of my latest videos.